Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we have a delicious leftover makeover. We're gonna take the second meatloaf that we made when we made our meatloaf and we're gonna turn it into delicious meatloaf parmesan served on crusty garlic bread and everybody at your table is gonna be super happy. This is perfect for any time, but especially great on a busy weeknight when you don't have time or the inclination or the energy to cook a big meal. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. We're gonna go over all the ingredients for our meatloaf parmesan and this is super simple. As you might guess, we're going to turn our leftover meatloaf into a parmesan dinner. Just like you would if you were making chicken parmesan, veal parmesan, or whatever parmesan you like to make. Um, what I did was I took that second meatloaf and I cut it into slices. So I would say about a half inch or a little bit thicker than that. And I just did it evenly and here are like the two uh, weird ends and I just kind of overlapped them. I cut the very end off so that it would lay flat. All you have to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna take some help from the grocery store and use some organic jarred marinara, some whole milk mozzarella cheese that's been shredded along with some good Parmesan, and I have some pizza seasoning here. And that's as easy as it gets. While we wait, I wanna take a moment to say thank you for watching and being a part of our community. And please consider hitting that thumbs up button if you like what you see. And if you're new to my kitchen, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you're a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, be sure and hit the bell notification button because we don't want you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. We're gonna be serving this on top of a piece of toasted garlic bread. You can feel free to make your own garlic bread, but today, again, I'm taking some help from the grocery store because it's a weeknight, and I know how busy people can be. So if you know that you have this meatloaf already prepped and in your fridge, it'll be easy for you to say, oh, we're gonna have meatloaf parmesan, or we're gonna have um, Philly cheese meatloaf stacks, or we're gonna do taco uh, meatloaf stacks for dinner. And you can just go home and whip this up by taking out a few easy ingredients that you already have on hand because you pre-planned your leftovers and you're be gonna be able to make this a really super delicious way to amp up your leftovers, use them, and turn them into something different than they were the first time. Just top our Milo slices with some spaghetti sauce pizza and then sauce would good too. pizza sauce would be excellent. And then we're going to put some generous portion of mozzarella cheese. And I had about two cups of cheese here I'm gonna hit it with a little parm. This gives it that nice salty edge. After all, it is meatloaf parmesan. And I'm gonna hit this with some pizza seasoning because this already has everything in it that I know that I want for flavors in this dish. 350 degrees. I'm gonna grab my frozen uh, garlic bread. So I'm gonna bake those off at the same time I bake these off. It's gonna take about 20 minutes. And then when we come back, we'll build our meatloaf parmesan stacks for dinner and it'll be time to eat. Our meatloaf parmesan has come out of the oven and we're all ready to go. I'm just going to set this off to the side because I did want to show you the garlic bread. I know this is like, this is just garlic bread out of the box from the grocery store freezer, but I'm going to take a piece of it and we're going to build our, our dinner. So this is really simple. I'm just going to take and set it on top of the garlic bread. And then um, to round things out a bit, we had some roasted broccoli and mushrooms with dinner last night. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, serve the remainder with my dinner tonight. So that right there is quick and easy meatloaf Parmesan leftover makeover. I don't think you can get any simpler than that. That went together in five minutes it was in the oven for 20 minutes, and dinner is on the table in less than a half an hour. Okay, you ready to give this a try? If I have to. Okay, so let's just cut right down in there. Ooh, this looks really, really yummy. Garlic bread, meatloaf, sauce and cheese. How could you go wrong? You tell me what you think. 
Mm. It is really good. You could even drape extra sauce over the top if you like. Just heat some up and go for it. Oh wow, that's really good. So I hope you give this meatloaf parmesan a try sometime soon and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. I hope you give it a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.